thing. So it. <laughs> What's good you guys welcome back to the channel. We are here at the Legends of the Autobahn 2023 in Monterey Car week in full effect starting it off with this whip right here E30 M3 M5 We'll go ahead and look at the interior on some of them as well Red E30 M3. Ain't nothing like it. So far, it's fantastic. I can't believe the turnout has been such beautiful cars out here on the green. 3 Series. 1-6 M. Sorry, y'all. They are on the speaker right now. Beautiful HRE wheels. I'm sure she'll love answering any questions. Wow. The purple on this never gets old. Look at the hot tip exhaust. The Guna Sika Blue E46 M3. One of the cars to have in the stable. 46 M3 on BBS E88s, I think. Look at the seats on the silver E46. Which one are you guys taking, the silver one or this blue one? Check out the drop top on this E30 over here. First time I'm seeing this. Well, he looks like a vibe so in the back. Here. This is a very, very w picture truck, pickup truck. Audi. I don't know what you call right, this. Right. Kind of funky looking from the front, but we'll let it slide. Some Porsches. What is this? I see you're drawing this picture. How long have you been an artist like this? After around three to Dang. four years. <laughs> now, where are you from? I see the British Doing flag. Doing a little interview, uh, I see. Oh my, my goodness, you, you come a long ways to uh, share your talent with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. So many interesting BMWs. Did you draw that either? <laughs> <laughs> How about this one with the flared fenders going? Starting with the R8, and it's a kind of orange color. And if you were to look at it, it's beautiful finish on the wheels. Look at that exhaust work. E46 M3 drop top. Pick. A few more uh, When I go to car shows, I take a picture for example. And then. 2002 in red. Uh, the same process. I take it as something that's. E36 M3. Clown shoe M3. Drop top M3. Z4 over there. Got a SUV up in the mix, X5M, M5, got that beautiful sounding V10 in there, M2, and then CS edition M2. E92 M3 idle. condition like it just hopped out of the showroom 
another Z3M. M3 E36 lightweight. One of only, I think, a hundred something. All these cars have their own different little vibe to them. The E46 M3 right here. That's cool to have that. Steering wheel and the cluster. Done right. Center caps on the BBSs. The Brembo brake caliper color. More cool stuff, E36 M3. The M3 lineup just doesn't stop. Keep it going, we got a big body over here, six series. M3, another M3. I'm telling y'all, it is endless amounts of E46 goodness. Got some F80s in the mix. No man, it's just a hard choice between these two colors. I don't know what I'd do. M Technica E30 drop top manual. This one might just take the cake. And wait till I show you guys the interior. Done right. No pinstriping too. Wheels. Whoa. Take a look at this thing. Bad M for sure. Alpina, whole lineup of 8 series, V12s, and all that. Always respect an 8 series. Check the wheels out on this one. The show continues on over here. E30 M3 track cars. M3. So, a few more things to say a little bit later, but uh, be sure to stick around for all the, uh, the great awards. The judges are busy tabulating all of their results. So, they're ready to go and uh, they're to see the very best of show about that time. Boris oh. Tunner wheels. No freaking way. Really got that in there.
560 SO. I think it's mint. Well, kind of uh, barn find or as is, as found condition. Uh, tell us about the finding itself. How long have you had this and where did you find Dang, it? Dang, check this well, out. That, I've had the car. Uh, it's going pretty sense. crazy it's seeing this stuff. thing. Uh, and that sort of thing. So it, Look at it the little details on it, the wing. Like it just came out of the barn five minutes ago. I was going to say, what do you sit on? I don't think there's a... I don't think there's enough, well, there's barely enough seat left there you could sit in it, I think. Well, I've developed the, the art of hovering, and I can drive the car without my butt touching the springs. Now, I've got a pillow I put down so it doesn't hurt. But, what are they uh, talking about on the but mic, I, I wanted to bring it out just, just and see the promise that it has. Have you displayed it before? Um, I, uh, this period, whether it's a BMW, Audi, or Mercedes, what do you know about its story right and how did it come to the uh, United States? Was there a serviceman involved with it at some point, I wonder? Most likely. But, but the history of the car as I know it, it left the factory in March of 1940 as a Pullman limousine. So it was a long wheelbase big black limousine that was delivered to Berlin. And then obviously Berlin was in rubble. And uh, post-war it received this one-off coachwork. Uh, by Romich of Berlin, and that was completed in 1948. And I believe hard to fit this chassis. I'm just uh, last so they started with whatever was left Mercedes. of you know the 1940. It doesn't uh, get any better than this. And then created it all from there. Two so tons. as you look through the car, you can see some bits of the Dang. original bits of it. The Sitting right. The firewall and that sort of thing, but it really seems like the whole coach was basically from the grill on back. But was crafted by Romesh. So it's truly a one-off. That's it. Absolutely. It's, it's a one-off. And two S1 McLarens. Uh, well, I'm going to bring you to the GTR. Show all the shiny people what's up. The Frozen M3 we've seen on Ocean Ave. What you might do with it, whatever that might be. All right, we're going to quickly look at what's posted up over here. 300 SO. E55 over here. Congratulations, we want to find. Had you been looking for And look at the color on this E63. Definitely pink too. White interior. Kind of reminds me of my 350Z colorway I did. Do you even notice that? We'll check that 280SE in just a second. Another 560 SL, 280 SEL. Another V12. X5M, this definitely caught my attention. And look what's under the hood. This one is not here to play any games. Dang. Now that is what you call an interior. Another one right there, E90 M3. 
Corvette motor in the bends. Definitely a first if I've seen it. And it's bagged, I'm assuming. Recaro seats. This guy knew what to do. Look at those rear seats. There's no way. I knew there was something up with this thing as soon as I seen it. Full on Audi squad over here. A whole bunch of goodies mixed in there. Seen this on the trailer. I was looking rowdy. Look at this quattro. RS6. TTRS, five cylinder boys. It's good in a straight line, but the Audi with that 12 is just awesome. Sorry, six is just sitting so nicely. The green on this one. Arizona Spring Train and San Francisco Giants. I don't think it's just like this. Yeah. 432. Back seats on that Audi. What a menacing front end. Have the RS4 on the right side. S4 in the iconic blue color. Dang. Gotta love you a little wagon. Look at those wide hips. This ain't no regular one either. Got some R8s. RS6. I haven't seen a colorway like this. RS5. These engine bays just look so crazy. Q8. Obviously, Audi is displaying their new lineups over here. A few R8s right there. Race cars. This thing's set up right. Alpina. Full Alpina lineup over here. Holy. Oh my god, this is just way too much to take in. All sorts of rare stuff. Your priorities. The big, big SUV Alpina. The road presence on this thing is up there for sure. See this thing rolling behind you? Yeah, it's over. X5M. That color. The, the manufacturers are coming out with some crazy, insane colors. Oh, and then and after a year, he would give me, I think, five more than what he paid for, or something like that, which is like, okay.
Carbon Tastics E46.